Good afternoon from the Australian Observatory and Merry Christmas. Uh, Dwarf Lab decided to give us uh, on Christmas Day the update, the long awaited update to their app. So let's see how we're going to install it. Uh, there is the Play Store, uh, Dwarf Lab app. Install the new one. If you already had the old app installed, you can just click on update. I prefer to uninstall the old one and install the new one clean. Open. Service agreement, privacy policy, agree. Allow Dwarf Lab to access devices location, yep. Allow while using the app. And connect. Let me go turn it on. Just turned on the door. Uh, green is blinking happily. Let's connect. Allow Dwarf Lab to access photos. Yup. And searching for device. It found the device. Connecting. Don't know if it's gonna go. Okay, that's what I expect. Upgrade the firmware now, so. Dwarf is fully charged. Let's do it. Connect to device again. Upgrading. And we're done. Please restart the telescope. Okay. Is it going to restart it automatically, or do I have to restart it manually? Uh, let's see whether this is going to do it. Connect. Connecting. Connection successful. I don't know if we did the restarting or not yet. Let's see, okay. Error. Haha. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're going to need to restart. Let's see if settings restarts it here. My device. Mac address. Device name. Firmware version 2.006. Firmware upgrade. We just did. So let us, yeah, yeah, we just did. Let's see if it's going to allow us to restart the device. Device. It no longer has restart. That's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate just to allow us to restart remotely, which was wonderful. Okay, let's restart it. Let's connect again. Searching for device. Connecting. I don't know if I need to reprogram station mode. Uh, 
connection successful this time. This is what uh, failed earlier. It's still giving error. I don't know what that is. Okay, this is new ring indicator. Okay, it goes off. Battery indicator, it goes off. These are going to be very useful for uh, taking darks. Battery is full, we know that. Uh, let's go back to settings. This is home, this is album. Okay, we have the last images that we took. Home. So the only thing home has right now, photo. There we go. Look out of the window. Nice blue skies. Okay. Clouds. Okay. Let's go back to, uh, what are we going back to? Thank you for changing size on me. There we go. Let's see what settings give us now. My device. Device is Dwarf 2, MAC address, storage. Okay. Device name, device password, default, reset, IP address, firmware version. Firmware upgrade, shutdown, okay. This is my device connection settings. Activate Wi-Fi at startup. That's in non-station mode. Station mode, okay. Let's go with Lady Godiva. Looks like connection is successful, so we have it in station mode. Let's go back to settings. That's the connection settings. Region United States. Uh, I don't know if it's going to let me have both activate Wi Fi at startup as well as station mode. Yeah, okay, okay, good enough for now. Let's see if that works. Advanced settings. CPU mode. So I did not see anything here about uh, binning. Let's go to photos, see if we'll find that setting there. All right, I don't have my settings on this side anymore. Okay. No idea what this is. Oh, that's the speed of moving things around. Function. Object. Shutter, gain, IR, that's the exposure, tone. Okay, so these are split into two. And feature, 
Sun track, moon track, okay. Out of this, we're gonna exit track mode. There's nothing to track right now. Photo. Ah. Is this gonna allow us an astro mode? to set all right there is shutter we can select the shutter speed there is gain okay infrared pass or cut for why they can adjust shutter Okay, I see that. Or gain. Did not make any difference. Let's go back to Tele. This is exposure. This is tone. I still have not found darks calibration, star target, settings. Oh, okay. I can take tiffs or tiff or fits. The count, uh, preview, stacked or single, and binning, 4K or 2K, okay. These are the curves. Let's go back to star target. Moon or sun. Let me look at all for a minute. Oh, this is nice. These are all the stars. It added quite a few stars to the list. Planet. It has all the planets always had. Uh, okay, nebula. Some are numbered. Uh, and some are named. So we have M1, 8, 27, 42, 43, 57. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine Messier objects. Galaxies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have 49 so far messy objects, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 60, 61, 62, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 68, 76, 84, 92, 100, looks like we have the entirety of the Messier catalog now. And uh, quite a few more. So this is good, manual. We can still enter, enter right ascension and declination, so I'm happy with that. Do they allow us to do it in an orderly manner? Nope. Can we type them in? Nope. So we still need to do it the awkward way. Okay, bad enough.
focus we're gonna have auto or up and down infinite all right let's turn it off so this is the new app uh, quite a few new features to get used to and uh, we're looking forward to trying it see you on the sky it's clearer than this so long